Hello, hello mga sawo! How are you? I missed you. It's been days since I last uploaded my video content. I hope you were able to watch that. So, in this video, we're gonna talk about LDR relationship or long distance relationship and on how to manage and maintain a smooth and loving relationship even from a distance. If you're interested, please stay with me and watch until the end of this video. Hello, hello mga sangok! How are you today? How are you yesterday? And how are you tomorrow? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Char! Char! If you're new here, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Love, love, love! Thank you mga sangok for watching and I hope you'll stay with me until the end of this video. As mentioned earlier, ang pag-uusapan po natin today is about long-distance relationship and then how to manage and maintain a smooth, healthy, and loving relationship from a distance. According kay Wikipedia mga samo, long distance relationship is when you are separated geographically from your loved ones and your partner. Basically, magkalayo kayo ng partner mo or ng family mo for a time. In short, nasa magkabilang dulo kayo ng mundo. How sad! Mga samok, it is never easy to be in a long distance relationship. For my case, a long distance marriage. Actually, it is very challenging and it will really test your patience and your love for each other. I'm sure makaka-relate sa akin ang lahat na nasa LDR relationship ngayon. Ang pinaka-happiest moment na meron tayo is yung time na uuwi na yung husband or yung girlfriend or boyfriend natin. Yun talaga yung nilulook forward ko. Pero yung pinakasadas ko is yung time na aalis na naman siya. Yung tipong you wish na sana hindi na muna iikot yung araw, na sana mag-stop na lang muna kasi ayaw mo siyang umalis. Yung tipong ihatid mo na siya sa airport, then papasok mo siya sa door, then you can't stop your tears from falling. Grabe. Ako mga samok, a week, a month, grabe yung sakit. Pero iniisip ko na lang, each passing day means napapalapit na din yung araw na uuwi siya. Sad, da ba? It's really sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. When my then ex-boyfriend, now my husband, came into my life five years ago, I already know that we will be in an LDR relationship. Una, he has been working in Saudi prior to me meeting him. Second, I know na very important sa kanya yung work niya in the same way that mine is important to me as well. So with that, I know that no matter what, there will be no compromise na mangyayari between us as far as our respective work is concerned. But one good thing about our relationship, in fairness to my husband, is when we officially decided to begin our journey of love together, lahat po ay naging clear to both of us. We accepted the fact that he'll work there, I'll work here, um, we'll save, then we'll merge our worlds, have a family, and eventually live together in person. Having the hope of all the pre-planned future together helped me get through the toughest days of being apart from one another. That alone gives me motivation, an inspiration, an energy to go a long way, a very long way of loving that one person, that one true love from a distance. For those who are currently in an LDR relationship, here are my 5 tips for making our long distance romantic relationship or long distance marriage work. 1. Communicate as much as possible. Personally, I want to feel connected every day. Though I am aware that not everybody is comfortable talking with their partners every day. 
But what's important lang is for the both of you to agree on what's the best time for the both of you to spend an us time together. If there's a me time, there's an us time, mga samo. Remember that. And when you've set the schedule, you have to stick to it. Make that a first Hindi priority. Hindi pwedeng later na lang. Hindi pwedeng, be, may work pa ako, be, may assignment pa ako, be, may bisita pa ako. That's a no-no, mga samo. The fact that you've set that as time means that's your time together. Never ever squeeze in any schedule. And ito, mga samo, tandaan nyo, never ever... Let your partner, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend feel that they are less important to you. Remember that. Remember that. Second, be committed. When you decided to be in the relationship, even if you started in a normal one and eventually went into an LDR relationship, part of that decision as not to waste your time in that person. Thus, you have to be committed with the relationship. If you truly love the person, you will do everything. You will do the best that you can for that person, near or far. Distance should never be an issue. And if you will ever be tempted to think otherwise, mga samok, Balikan mo yung reason why you love that person in the first place. With that, you will always be reminded why he or she is worth holding on. Third, trust your partner. Be honest with how you feel. Let your partner know and talk it out. This is really important. This is really important. Express yourself, mga samok. Because your partner deserves to know if something or someone is bothering you or feels off to you. Kasi mga samo, if tatahi-tahimi ka na lang, baka one day bigla ka na lang mag-explode gaya ng explosion na nangyari sa Hiroshima, Japan and currently sa Lebanon. Just imagine the damage. Speaking of trusting your partner, be open-minded and listen to whatever he or she has to say to you in the same way that you want him or her to listen to you when it's time for you to talk. Diba? Yun ang gusto natin. Trust on his love, mga samok. Feel his love. Because if you don't trust your partner, ask yourself, is this really love? Do I really love him or her? Diba? Bakit pa? So, love him, trust him. Pero, sa mga dongsog dahi nga wapay mga uyab, ayaw mo kiat-kiat sa mga naanay uyab o mga minyo. Oy, pangita mo inyo ha. Ayaw guba ang relasyon sa uban para lang malipay ka. Ha? Do. Look for your one true love, guys. Four. Be secure and confident. In the first place, mga samo, when you entrust your heart and life to the one person you love, it also means that you feel secure and confident that he'll take care of it. Para lang yung kanta mga samok sa Bisaya. Ako nang gihatag ni mo, akong kasing-kasing, ikaw na ang bahala sa pagtipig o pag-amping. Hugti ang pagduo nga dili ka mo biya, sa kasadya ka pala ka, kanunay kang may kasangga, I love you langga. Malayo man siya, always have that faith in him and his love for you. Huwag mag-emo-emo mga samok. To the point na you will overthink. To the point na you will become negative. Worst, gagawa-gawa ka ng mga bagay just to test if he truly loves you. Hello, that's not love, mga samok. That's not love. My gosh, mga samok, wake up. Huwag mong masyadong i-internalize yung mga sad stories that you have probably watched 
at Rafi Tulfo and Action Show. You are loved. Don't devalue yourself just because you heard many crazy sad stories about LDRs. Iba yung sayo. Iba ka. Iba yung partner mo. Iba sila sayo. Make a long-term plan. Mga samok, LDR should be time-bound. Plan and assure each other of your long-term goal. Whether your plans of getting married, your plans of merging your both worlds together, whether having family, and of course, living together in person, wherever it may be. Because honestly, mga samo, everyone in a long-distance romantic relationship or long-distance marriage always hope and pray to be in, in a normal relationship. Maybe in 5 years time or 10 years time, basta one day, one day. Long-distance romantic relationship can only be handled by someone who believes 101% to the one he or she loves. LDR is only for couples who loves with all their heart. That no challenges, no trials, not even distance can break them apart. So there mga samo, thank you, thank you for staying with me. If at this time you still feel a little bit stuck in your long distance romantic relationship or long distance marriage, Please think through and contemplate on the five tips that I just shared with you in this video. It works for me mga samok and to others who are currently in LDR or who were in LDR relationships. Shout out to Miss Tinia from Leite, to Buman Alarde, from Cebu, to my cousin Yana and Nathan, to my sisters Irish and Jason, Fernie and Muta, to my friend Flo, Miss A, Jovi, uh, Russell and Mackie, and of course my friend Sheila and boss Joseph. So mga samok, I just really hope that these tips I just shared with you will work with yours as well in one way or another. Let's spread love and make this world a better place to live. Please, please don't forget mga samok to hit the like button. And if you may, please share this video with your circle of friends as well. And if you have any topics you want me to include on my next video contents, please comment down below. Laban lang mga LDRs! Tiwala lang! Love, love, love!